Hey guys, um, right now I'm about to be showing you Bork. This is my third time refilming this because something dumb happens and messes the entire thing up, so I have to restart. So, okay, here's how you get to Bork. Bork is a combat based thing. You will get Slayer from him and you'll get some charms and um, a small amount of coins. But uh, here's where I am. That's your one of your final destinations almost. Um, go along through here through Varak, run across. Go up across Barbarian Village to here, Sedgeville. Run around, get to me. Or you can just run straight through here, make it a lot faster. Go through the agility shortcut and run over here. And you just run north to this little dungeon right here. This is the dungeon, how you get to them. This is where you'll be, right here, by the gargoyles. They are aggressive, I think. Yes, they are, they are aggressive. And um, you will not be able to damage them unless you have the the equivalent slayer level for to attack them. Run from this hole. Go to the top portal, not the bottom one. Top one. I'll take you in the room with mummies. They're mummies and they're aggressive. Sometimes there'll be people and they're killing them, so you won't have to worry about them. They won't attack. But some most of the time there's not, and uh, they do hit 21s and stuff. And they drop uh, ancient stabs and stuff like that. And some rune schematars and yeah. Okay, and then you take this portal right here into the monks of Zamorak. And they are not aggressive, you will not get attacked, so you do not need to pray. Run north up here, go to the portal, and take you into Dust Devils. Dust Devils are not aggressive. They won't attack you unless you attack them, and if you attack them, you're probably going to die. Go through here, unless you have a mask on. But most people don't wear masks, commonly. So, um, take the Dust Devil portal to here, run over here. Go to this portal. There's um, some bronze dragons here that will hit, so you might want to bring an anti dragon fire shield, but I don't because I'm a rebel. So, <laughs> um, yeah. And just run north, not to this portal because it's taking it to the Tarots, and you don't want to go through there. Um, the Dagonauts, this is where most people stop to pot because it's in the next room. Just if you're gonna use an attack or super sad and stuff like that, um, do it here. Go through the portal. And there's another little porter here that does not show it. But this, you know, obviously it doesn't look like it would take you to anywhere. But this will take you to the chamber of Bork, and you will begin this small mini game with Bork. And I'm going to show you how to get there up front. It's also what I'm wearing. Some good bonuses, mage bonuses, very good. So make sure you bring that in. Oh yeah, well, during one of the refilms, I accidentally, see, these things are gross, but I accidentally killed a scorpion, and then amazingly, it, it dropped a blue charm. I don't think that's common, but it, it happened. So, <laughs> that's why I have one blue charm in my inventory. You will not need very much food for this main game, because usually, you won't get hit too much, but the mage will hit, so make sure you definitely bring food, but you don't need to bring, you know, a shark or anything that will save you unless you're very, very low level. Here, some of those people in here, so you won't get a tail. Bronze dragons, luckily, I didn't get hit. You guys probably wanted to see me get hit, but still. Okay, this is where you pot. If you're gonna pot, I personally don't pot because I don't see the chance or the point. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go through now, and this is how you kill Bork. My hits are probably gonna be pretty low, just to tell you. Not very good. This mage right here will be hitting you, and he does hit. You see, you just hit me with a ten of two sixteen. Oh, zero, zero. And then you just sit here and just kill him. <laughs> it's very easy. Um, eventually, in the mid of the spawn, he will see the mage hits. But um, right now he's going to be spawning some minions, kind of like Gradar or a God Ward person, he'll spawn um, these little midget things, and I'll kill one of them to show you guys what they drop. 
They're very easy to kill. They do not hit. Unless you take pro melee off them, they might hit you a little bit. Crimson Charm. They all drop Crimson Charms. They do not respawn. There's only three of them. And, but always watch your health. Never let it get below, like, 30. Because the mage does have a chance of hitting hard. Like, watch. 21. Just like that. Of course, most people can kill them a lot faster than I can. But my hits are usually pretty low. Like, they are now. I'm doing my best to kill them as fast as I can. Watch your prey always, too. Because you don't want to get melee mage at the same time and get on. So never never let your prey get below like three. Just because then your prey can instantly drain down to zero. There you go. You killed Boar. He teleports away like little pussy he is and he never fights. Here's my loot. The room shakes, and I believe it keeps hitting you with threes. So, like, here it is. Nothing great, but I did get some Slayer XP. It does help. Green charms. Some gems. And big bones. Got five blue from that. And seven crimson. And two green. M6K, so that was pretty good. Teleport out, and there you go. You finished board. And that's how you do it.